Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I cannot tell you how excited I am that Christmas is just 25 minutes away. <laughs> oh, it is a day that tells us about Mary giving birth to Jesus, delivering our Savior to us. <sighs> For Mary, Gabriel had told her the news nine months before that she would conceive a son who was the Son of God. Nine months ago. That's a long time to wait for a delivery of a package, but it's normal wait for a delivery of a little child. Who would wait nine months for a package? I don't know if I could stand for that. In fact, I think I have a package heading this way. Let me check my app here. Yeah, it should be getting here anytime soon. It's for our sermon today. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Right on time. It's always the wait, you know, the anxiety of it coming when you need it to be coming. And once you get it, the, the excitement is there. Let's see what we've got. Oh, yes, exactly what I ordered for us today. I've got my calendar here, a uh, new calendar for the new year, and I've got my pictorial directory, always need one of those, St. Peter's pictorial directory, and a pastor can always use one of these, a cross. Well, I think we'll use each of these today to help us to talk about our Savior delivered to us on Christmas Day. You know, in this calendar here, we oftentimes mark some special days in our lives. And one of those, uh, let me check here. Yep, December 25th, still in the calendar for next year. Yeah, that's uh, the day that the Lord was delivered to us. Uh, I believe Easter is still in here. Yep, Easter is still in here, the day our sins were delivered from us. There's many other holidays in here, including Ascension and Pentecost. Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit was delivered to us by Christ and the Father. If you go through this calendar and the calendar you have at home, you would note that the first and third Sundays are St. Peter's Communion Sundays, where God's very body and blood is delivered to us to be our forgiveness. But if I were to go through here, each and every day in here, I know is the Lord's day. And he has given it to us to be delivered from sin. Every day given to us so that we would know who our God is. This pictorial directory is very important to me. If I have some time during the day, I usually thumb through this and look at the pictures and the people and the names and think about you. I think about what's going on in your life. I also think about those who have passed away, those who are of the sainthood in heaven. And I think of all the things that they have done. I think of the ones that aren't in here, the newly added. I think about all of you. All of you are important to God. All of you are cared for by him. All of you. Every single one of you are delivered from sin. You know, deliverance is mentioned in the Bible over 350 times. 75 times, in fact, in just the Psalms. Four times in, the, in Psalm 34. And I'll bring that out for you today. But remember here that the Lord is talking about you how he delivers you from all the troubles you have in your life. Psalm 34 starts out with, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Indeed, we're all here together to exalt his name. We are happy to be blessed by the Lord. And in verse 4, this is what he does for us. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me 
from all my fears. He delivers us from all our fears. Whatever fears are in your life, fear the next day, fear of growing old, fear of the enemies we have, fear of the world. He says he has delivered you. And indeed, those who look to him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. That's verse 7, the second of the delivers. The angel of the Lord, the strong arm of God, is with us. He dwells with us. He came on Christmas morning to deliver all of us. No matter what would come at us, he is our strong fortress, a mighty fortress, if you will. And he delivers us out of anything that comes in our life. And so the psalmist continues, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous, and his ears toward their cry. And in verse 17, our third time the deliverance is in here. When the righteous cry out for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. God hears you when you pray to him, and he delivers you out of whatever troubles you. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. He saves you. And verse 19, our fourth one, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Even though we would have righteousness in our lives because of the forgiveness won for us in Christ, there are things that still hurt us, afflict us, as is said in the Psalms, and the Lord still delivers us out of them all. He delivers us from sin, He delivers us from trouble, and He delivers us from the afflictions, even though we are found righteous in His sight. We still have troubles in our lives. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge, refuge in him will be condemned. I'll repeat that. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. You are delivered. You have all things taken care of you by the Lord who delivers you out of all your troubles. I will repeat those four phrases there. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. When the righteous cry out for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of their troubles. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. All of these are truths for you. The Lord delivers you out of all your troubles. And he does so on the cross. That is the moment that our sins are delivered. You see, in Galatians 4, it says this, when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that they might receive adoption as sons. You are the ones redeemed. You are the ones who receive adoptions as sons and receive the inheritance of the heavenly kingdom. The same place where our Lord resides forever and ever, you have that same inheritance. You have that same promise. Because when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son. When the fullness of time, that little phrase tells us that God had this plan from the very beginning. He planned to deliver the son to you. If you thought nine months was a long time for a package, try from the very beginning of time. God planned for every single one of you to be delivered from sin. He planned it. And in the fullness of time, when all the prophecies would center on Christ being born in Bethlehem, to be raised in Nazareth, to preach in Jerusalem and die on the cross, it all came about for your sake. He was delivered for your sake. 
He was delivered up to Pontius Pilate, delivered up on the cross so that we would be delivered from our sins. Whatever may be in your boxes that show up in your door or under your Christmas tree this year, each and every day, remember the Lord delivered you from sin. Each and every day of the calendar, each and every day that you mark there, whatever holiday or whatever day it is, the Lord has delivered you that day. And unlike this pictorial directory that only shows your face and a name, God knows you. He knows every single hair on your head. He knows you and knows to deliver you, to give you what you need, to forgive you. And it is the cross. It is the cross that He came. You see, He was delivered on Christmas Day by the Virgin Mary to deliver you your sins on Easter Day. Delivered on Christmas Day to deliver your sins on Easter Day. And that is your joy. That is your hope. That is your peace this Christmas season because of the love of God given to you to deliver you from all your sins. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and minds on Christ Jesus, who is born on Christmas Day. Amen. And Merry Christmas.